If your workflow involves connecting and controlling multiple cameras through Canon's RCI-P100 controller, follow along as we connect a Cinema EOS C300 Mark III camera, a CRN300 PTZ camera, and a CRN500 PTZ camera to the controller and control the cameras with video feeds going to an external switcher. Connect the correct power supply to the RCI-P100 controller and power on. Press the Settings button located on the bottom left of the screen. Select Network under the Controller option. Select Controller. The default IP address is 192.168.100.0, which is not a valid address. The RCIP100 needs a valid IP address for it to function. Simply change the last number to a number of your choice and press Enter. Keep in mind, we will have multiple devices with different IP addresses, so keep track of which IP address you assign to each device. Now check that the firmware on the EOS C300 Mark III camera is version 1.0.1.1 or later. If you're connecting an EOS C500 Mark II camera, check for firmware version 1.0.3.1 or later. To check the firmware, open the Menu, System Setup, Firmware. If you need to update the firmware, go to the Canon USA website and download the latest firmware update for free. Follow all instructions and cautions on the included PDF file carefully to install. You'll need an EU V1 or V2, a switch, Ethernet cables, and whatever cables necessary to get the video feed out. Connect the expansion unit to the camera. Connect an Ethernet cable to the expansion unit on the camera and into the switch. Connect another from the switch to the RCIP100's LAN port. From the camera menu, go to the Network Settings menu. Select Network, press Set. Select Enable, select New Connection Setting Wizard, select XC Protocol, confirm a new connection setting, press OK. Select Create New Communication Setting, select Ethernet, press Set. Select Setup with Network Connection. Under IP Address Settings, IPv4, select Manual Settings and select IP Address. Press Set. You can customize the IP address as you like. For example, 192.168.100.30. Press Set. This IP address needs to be different from the controller and any other camera connected. Always have separate addresses, even if they're only one number off. Select Subnet Mask, press Set. Input 255.255.255.0 for the subnet mask. For this example, we'll disable the Use Gateway. You'll enable the Use Gateway when you need your host network to accommodate access from outside your network. If you're connecting to an existing network, even if it's a local network, you should use an IP address in that network and consult the network administrator to avoid conflicts. The gateway is the path used to pass information when the device doesn't know where the destination is. Think of the gateway as a router that connects your host to remote networks. Save the IP address setting, IPv4, press OK. For this example, we'll disable the TCP IPv6 settings. Confirm communication settings, press OK. Select Create New Function setting, press Set. Select Basic Authentication, or digest authentication, or no authentication. Press Set. For this example, we'll be selecting no authentication. Confirm function setting saved. Select your set preference. For this example, we'll select Set 2 since we have another connection saved already. Confirm settings completed. Press OK. Now you'll notice the Ethernet icon on top of the screen. This icon indicates that the Ethernet connection on the camera is now active. To assign the camera to the controller, use the camera registration menu on the controller, which is similar to the controller registration menu. Press the settings button located on the bottom left of the screen on the RCIP100. Select network under the controller option. Select camera and enter the IP address of the camera. Select which camera and group number you want to assign and enter the IP address of the camera. Username and password will be left blank since we chose no authentication in the camera. However, if we chose authentication, this is where you would enter the username and password to control the camera. Always press enter when finished. 
exit and now you can control the camera using the RCIP100 controller. Power on the PTZ cameras by plugging in the correct power cable. Connect an Ethernet cable to the camera's LAN port, then to the switch. The controller should already be connected through its LAN port. To make setup easy, Canon offers free software, including the camera search tool, available from the Canon USA website. As of today, it's only compatible with a PC running Windows 10 or MS Surface running Windows 10. Check this module or the Canon USA website from time to time to look for any addendums to the module or updates to the software. Connect an Ethernet cable from the computer running Windows 10 to the network switch. Set up the IP address by opening the camera search tool. Select the IPv6 address. You should see the defaulted IP address for IPv4 and an auto IP address for IPv6 for a new camera or a reset camera. Click on the IPv6 address to begin camera login. Create an administrator name and password of your choice. Select Apply and Reboot. Once it's established again, fill in username and password created in the previous setup. Select Sign In. Select Manual for IPv4 address setting method. IPv4 address and subnet mask will be defaulted to 192.168.100.1, subnet mask 255.255.255. Adjust the IPv4 address. Choose an address of your choice as long as it's different from the IPv4 address set for the computer or any other devices. Since multiple devices will be connected here, keep track of which address each device is assigned. Select Apply and Reboot. Exit out of the camera search tool. Follow the same procedure for the CRN500 using a different IPv4 address for each camera. The camera registration menu is similar to the controller registration menu. Press the settings button located on the bottom left of the screen on the RCIP100. Select network under the controller option. Select camera and enter the IP address of the camera. Select which camera and group number you want to assign. Enter the username and password. Press enter to save when finished. Exit and now you can control the camera using the RCIP100. You can touch the camera number on the controller to switch control over each of the cameras. The RCIP100 controller has six buttons and knobs to customize features that can be controlled. F1 through F4 and User 1 and User 2 assigned by using the touchscreen. For more detailed information on each of these cameras and the controller, look for the individual modules or download the user manuals from the Canon USA website.